Hey there guys, what is going on here today? Uh, apologies for a little bit of an odd setup here. I've been trying to tweak and test some different angles and some altered lighting out and just, you know, to see how it goes and how it ends up in the, the final footage and what you see on YouTube. So if you do notice this and are, you know, either, you know, okay with it or sickeningly disgusted by it, do let me know in a comment or something like that. But for right now, we're going to test this out for today and see how it goes for this vinyl unboxing video. And real quick, actually, before we do get to the whole vinyl unboxing bit, I do want to say that if you go over to my YouTube page over at the Vinyl Corner, instead of just watching this video or however you come upon it or watching it through YouTube, if you do go over to my page, you'll be able to... Uh, go over and see the links that I have to Twitter, to Instagram, to all the usual social media things. And I just wanted to take a minute to spotlight, and I'll try to remember to do this in the next couple of videos, actually, to keep getting exposure to it. I did want to do a little bit of a spotlight on my WordPress blog, On the Back Edge of the Beat, which is currently at On the Back Edge of the Beat dot wordpress.com I believe and if you go over there you can see a bunch of really good written pieces that I put up lately I've been kind of on a little uh, one a day kick with some new things and some stuff that I wanted to get to talk about and there's so much more right now uh, actually in fact yesterday I just uploaded a great piece with some of my first initial thoughts on the new Butch Walker album Afraid of Ghosts which I've talked about here a little bit in some previous videos but that really goes goes in depth before, well, it starts to go in depth before my, hopefully my video review coming up, which will put the final bow on that before it comes out at the beginning of February. Before that, I did stuff on the Lone Bellow, and then came the morning, which you're going to see a lot more of here in this vinyl unboxing video, of course. There's an early first thoughts post I did on that and then I link to the video review I did here on my channel and there's a little review up on Justin Towns Earl and his absent father's album which is the companion piece to single mothers and there's there's just I'm trying to think if there's even anything else there's just there's a bunch of really good stuff up there just been kind of uploading new pieces every single day it's actually been really cool because when I put the Butch Walker piece up he actually retweeted it over on on Twitter and some other fans and things noticed it and it got some views and and that was pretty cool and people were really really kind about it so I'm really pleased with where that's going right now I have another one in progress and another one hopefully on the way for tomorrow and we'll just keep it up because I'm hoping to kind of go half between blogging about new music and some stuff that's I don't quite get to to make in videos I can talk about over on my blog and do some things and then the rest will just be thrown there and then it'll, they'll just feed into itself and just kind of keep productivity and things going on so go check out my WordPress blog because we've uh, we spent a little too much time promoing that I'm sure when you just want to see the uh, the unboxing thing here but uh, I promise it is for good reason there is some really good pieces up really just really great stuff I'm proud of that I created already and I'm looking to just keep adding another one tonight, adding another tomorrow, just slowly but surely adding just everywhere. So go check that out on the back edge of the beat.wordpress.com. You can find it a little bit quicker if you go over to my YouTube page and look in the links. It should be right up probably on the far right of the little bunch that's there. But that is my little same shameless self-promotion promoing myself for the day. We're going to shove that aside now and get here to the vinyl unboxing, a big moment that I've been looking forward to here after doing the review, of course, for The Lone Bellow, and then came the morning. It was an excellent and long-awaited release day for this band, doing their second album now. It feels like it's been ages in the making, yet somehow it went by in a flash and we're already here. I, I, I couldn't be more excited for the band, the things they've been doing. They did some great things on Twitter, interacting with their fan base, getting like their greatest memories, and really reminiscing with everybody, getting a lot of great interaction going on. And it just it couldn't happen to a nicer group of individuals. They made a David Letterman appearance this week. They've just they've been really on such an amazing roll. They've been making the iTunes charts. It's you get into that music fan mode of not wanting to let the gem that you've held on to for this amount of time go when you know it and you cherish it, cherish it so much. 
but when the talent of a group of individuals is this amazing and this undeniable, you simply just have to say, good luck and may the best be for the best and I'm just gonna keep staying right here listening to you and being die hard all the way. So it's been an amazing thing, a great week for them and I wanted to bring my coverage to a close at least for now. I'm gonna try to see them live a couple times this year of course and maybe I'll do some blogging, some WordPress stuff on that. But to bring my then came the morning coverage to a close, I wanted to talk about the fan deluxe pack of everything that came with with all that including a little switched out bonus to do with some of the other CD pre-orders that were out there so to start off here I'll actually jump in with the CD which <clears throat> originally I had a different just a plain regular CD and this is almost the same same deal but that was switched out at the last uh, at the last second I didn't have that and I wasn't going to talk about it but then, lo and behold, today, one of the other pre-orders that is out there, and I won't end up talking about the third one because it won't make sense to just open it up for uh, what's pretty much an autograph, but for this one, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is through Barnes & Noble. I don't know if they're running it. It was just exclusive as a pre-order or if it's just... I almost want to say if it, it was because it was a pre-order, but it might still be going on. If you bought this at... Barnes & Noble, your local retailer online or, you know, in, in physical stores, you would get this. You would get that little bit of a slapstick routine bundled with it. We're just, we're not going to cut. We're just going to keep going like that didn't happen. And you would get a very slidey banana peel-like Ditmus demos, which are basically three three songs from the record cold as it is diners and marietta we're just gonna keep our hand very see there you go we're gonna keep it very firmly here so that doesn't happen and they are demos recorded in brooklyn with aaron desner as they were presented to him initially uh in the very beginning in the early makings of this record and i've actually i've actually been in the vicinity of this studio over in ditmas it is well, you wouldn't really know that it's a studio from the outside, but it is a really cool place, and it's amazing to to just know that a band you love and really idolize has been there and recorded and done some stuff, and they laid down some cool tracks, and they make for really great alternate versions, I gotta say. They don't sound like hissy and low quality. You know, there's some parts here and there, like Zach saying verse or something like, uh, you know, that to mark where it was because it was in the early sketches with these songs. But otherwise, they just make for really cool alternate acoustic stripped down kind of fumbling piano to a start, just kind of lit layering the background, kind of early alternate versions of three really good songs, Marietta especially, but Diners is a close second. And that is pretty, pretty damn awesome right there. Next, we'll move on to the record itself right here, which has the artwork from Mackenzie Rollins. Uh, I do apologize that this video is going to run over the 10 minute mark, but we've got a lot to talk about here. So just, you know, get something to eat, pause the video for a second. You know, I'll wait, I'll be right here. And, you know, come back, get a drink, and we'll just keep talking, because there's so many cool things to talk about in here. This is amazing. Uh, I, I was really questionable, I was feeling very questionable about the artwork for this record, seeing the cover, which is just like, oh, you know, it's an old woman, what's the deal, what's going on with, you know, this, or, you know, the the artwork, like, here on the back in this kitchen, or um, some of the things inside here that you'll see on the gatefold, and I really didn't know, you know, what's the big deal, you know, what, why, or what is the deal with that, and it turns out these are all part of, like, a photo series from a really great photographer named Mackenzie Rollins. Uh, Ken's, Ken's, Ken's over on Instagram, if you're curious about that. And she, it's kind of like a, for my barest outline of an understanding, is it's kind of like a series of kind of capturing people, places, and things in her native Georgia, which is where, you know, uh, Zach and, and, you know, Brian and everything, where they're from down there, um, you know, in Georgia and kind of capturing people living their lives, um, you know, kind of in their daily, their daily element. Uh, this one in particular is actually very interesting, this right here, 
which was the cover artwork on the record store day single for Then Came the Morning. Uh, that is actually on her Instagram, and if you look uh, in there, it's, it's a really interesting story about uh, a man living in this house, and he was married to his wife for many, many decades, and she had passed away, and uh, he could never sleep in their, in their room again because it never felt right to him after the fact, after he lost his wife. So it, it adds something when you really look at it and you capture the human stories and the human nature involved in taking these warts and all kind of photographs and seeing what that, you know, what that's all about, that common everyday life sort of thing and what that adds to the songs once you kind of put the illustrations with them. They kind of tie in and feed off of each other, I think. So that is pretty cool. And it is a gatefold, as you see there. And it comes with a very nice little insert here, featuring a bunch of photos of the band, some promo photos, some photos recording when they came upstate and did some work. And that that was pretty cool. A bunch of those are on Facebook. I think the, their Facebook page, the whole the whole bunch of them originally, but a bunch made the record here. You have that on the back as well, which has Aaron up in the far left corner and just a bunch of other great studio shots. And inside here, I'll keep checking, okay, everything is good. Inside we have the handwritten, uh, entirely handwritten lyrics to everything on the record which is pretty excellent, courtesy of Ms. Kaneen Pipkin, uh, all throughout here. Actually, what is nice about having the CD, if you look at it, is, and I'm not going to take it out because, God forbid, I'll be sitting here, I'll be standing here for minutes trying to open it again or get the little insert out because those CD inserts are always stubborn. It's actually nice because I do, I love the handwritten lyrics touch, and it's cool, you know, it's the kind of thing you would want to have, like, as exclusive to you know, the vinyl, but they're a little hard to read, you know, much, much, you know, admiration and everything else to Kaneen Pipkin, uh, handwriting, not a, not perfectly clear, you know, which, which is okay, I'm not one to talk, I have terrible third grader handwriting, I will have until the end of my life, it will just always be that way, but thankfully in here, if you're, if you can't read a word or something in the CD version, there is a clear printed version of the lyrics as well, so it's nice to have that, makes for an excellent little addition and uh, but this is this is wonderful and it's very sweet just who played on what did all this and then at the end they've all everybody in the band has written dedications uh, personal dedications to you know family and husbands and wives and just everything all throughout and just such such sweet humble just really grateful just well meant, real beautiful little you know things in here. Just from really honest and earnest individuals, and I I really just I appreciate that element especially. And the record itself is pretty pretty standard, but is is nice. Uh, you know, just kind of your basic basic cut. Nice heavy weight though, and it's actually nice because for those of you out there who owned the original self-titled record on vinyl you might remember that the <laughs> that the original had this same descendant logo but was pressed in like a gray and a charcoal color in the center so you couldn't you could barely read what the titles on the insert were it was a terrible <laughs> It was a terrible design flaw that existed within it, and it was just like you had to really squint and like you couldn't even tell what side was which. You had to really look. So it's kind of funny that this is back, but it is in a much, much easier to read color, changed perfectly, and and is uh, is quite a relief compared to the uh, the squinting and the eyesight loss that was uh, LP number one. But that is. The record, the only thing, you know, the only downside, I mentioned it really briefly in my review, is that I, I do feel Watch Over Us should have been the closer instead of kind of the midway point there. But, you know, no, no skin off my nose just getting to have this record and hear the songs in it and hear stuff that I had heard in its live form as it was beginning and new stuff that was at its final beautiful apex. You know, and that, that was just absolutely amazing and it closes out here with this uh with this t-shirt which 
I would be able to line up for you, but the previewing software on my thing, on my app here to show you where things are lining up is not working at the moment. So we're just going to go with this. Not a great t-shirt actually, it is very simplistic, I wore it today. You know, it's, it's fun for what it is, but design wise it's very blah. So not really my favorite part of that, um, that there. Uh, actually, I did forget one last part here before we go. I don't know how I managed to forget this because this is probably one of the best parts of getting the the fan pre-order is this beautiful then came the morning poster. I'll just kind of make do here because I can't really see where anything is lining up right now. But this is, I don't know if, I don't think the light or, you know, my, my recording setup is going to do it justice, but beautiful, like, silver kind of scroll work in the letters, this speckling in the back looking kind of like a night sky. Obviously, then came the morning across the front with this rising, looks like moon there, and then the lone bellow at the bottom. Beautiful scroll work in this blue night sky thing, and this is probably... Probably my favorite design choice of everything uh, within this entire package. And it's really, you know, while the t-shirt isn't so great, the uh, the poster makes it more than worth the, you know, the, the price of acquiring it. So that is, I believe, everything. The, uh, the t-shirt, the poster, the record, the CD... The Ditmas demos, that is uh, with Barnes & Noble, not the fan pre-order, but that's a cool thing too. And just all that stuff for the Lone Bellow for Then Came the Morning. I, I hope you got your, your, your little snack or your drink and you uh, sat down here with me and enjoyed this little conversation about this amazing music, all the great stuff that came with it, and I hope that... You are either enjoying it as I am, you might be interested and go buy the CD or buy the vinyl or something like that and get a new favorite, or, you know, one way or another, you're getting in touch with this brilliant music because it is some of the best I've ever encountered, and I'm more than happy to share it with all of you. So, thank you again, guys, for watching this vinyl unboxing video for The Lone Bellow, and then came the morning here on their release week, which is fantastic, and keep it here more for lots more reviews. More vinyl unboxings, great stuff, still to come guys, stay tuned.